Seiko are seemingly untouchable when it comes to brand expansion, with their ever-growing list of ranges, price points, and sub-brands. With an incredibly deep historical catalogue to pull from, it appears that the King Seiko watches from the 1960s and 70s is their latest source of inspiration, with the release of the King Seiko KSK Recreation SJE087. King Seiko are mainly known for their supposed rivalry with Grand Seiko, with the two factories warring over who would become Seiko's sole luxury arm. Truthfully, both were discontinued in the mid-1970s, but Grand Seiko won the fight when they were resurrected in the 1980s. King Seiko's return not only marks a point of nostalgia for Seiko history, but also finds a niche between Seiko and Grand Seiko for those who want a high-end watch without the overbearing luxury. As typically conservative taste ruled watch dials throughout the 1950s and 60s, manufacturers tended to express their watch's attributes through the design of the case. In order to distinguish themselves as a high-end and distinctly Japanese option, King Seiko brought out the KSK in 1965 with a deliberate and regal shape. The lugs seem to be spaced fairly widely apart, giving it a stocky and planted quality on the wrist that instantly suits any wearer. The steep chamfers on the edges have a sharp appearance, accentuated by the Zeratsu polishing which provides a distortion-free reflection. Considering the wearability, the King Seiko KSK Recreation SJE087 is a modest 38mm that should please the target audience for a watch like this, keeping proportions classic without sacrificing wrist presence. Although the original watch was manual wind, this automatic version is only 5mm thicker at 11.4mm in total. The 1965 KSK was presented entirely in silver, however, the SJE087 goes for a slightly more evocative colour scheme, with a champagne dial and gold details. The golden hue brings a lot more vintage warmth to the package, and the yellow gold leans into the wink-wink hint of luxury which King Seiko embodies. It also mirrors the use of gold on the case back, with a medallion embedded that shows the King Seiko shield. In place of an acrylic crystal, the SJE087 uses a domed sapphire crystal to capture some of that distortion at the dial's edges, while keeping the scratches at bay. The case is also scratch resistant, with the use of Seiko's super hard coating. Powering the SJE087 is Seiko 6R35, one of their upper end movements that was originally released among the Presage range. It has a smooth beat rate of 28,800 vibrations per hour, 45 hours of power reserve, and a classic date complication at 3 o'clock. Being a limited edition of 1,700 pieces, the King Seiko KSK Recreation SJE087 has a retail price of 5,200 Australian dollars, which is certainly putting the watch in a luxury category. Costing over $2,000 more than some of the other new King Seiko watches, this reference is definitely reserved for those who revere the historical significance behind it.